Oh, hey, look at that. There's a buzzard, like, s just static in the sky. I wonder if we can snipe him. <laughs> oh, man, that feels good. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Wasteland Survival Series, and I'm an old guy gaming. We play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We have a map that's almost entirely made up of a wasteland bomb generated by nitrogen. And there is one small green bomb somewhere in this world that we're trying to find. A little paradise in the midst of hell. Okay, so uh, we spent an uneventful but rather frightening evening uh, just kind of hunkered down in the attic up here. And um, it's actually been a couple of days uh, since I last recorded. So I basically kind of semi-AFK'd until uh, the night was over and then uh, stopped the game at that point. So anyway, um, if you didn't catch the last episode, basically what we did was uh, this is the uh, the town that we've been based in for a while. And we kind of went up north this way and then came back around and started heading west this way. And we're fairly close to the western end of the map. So... Uh, the plan for today, though, is to continue working our way west and continue following this road and or, you know, going west. Uh, we had an airdrop that I estimated somewhere around here, so we'll kind of keep our eyes peeled for that, too. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So I am completely full on my inventory. Uh, looks like we need to eat, so let's go ahead and eat a chamois. And uh, that'll get us pretty pretty damn close to where we need, back to where we need to be. Let's go ahead and drink, too. All right, so I'm going to, as you can you can probably hear that we have a, a Zeker down below just wandering around. But I'd like to try and get out of here without aggroing anybody if possible. So we'll go nice and slow here. Opening this door is probably going to get their attention. Nope. All right, so... We came up this way, so we'll go back out that way, too. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll tell you what. This wasteland is one hell of a scary place at night. Well, it's kind of scary in the daytime, too. <laughs> but at nighttime, it's like, oh, my God. It's bad. Okay, um, we're going to have to start storing stuff in here because I don't have room to keep carrying things. So let's put stuff in there that we're not likely to loot again anytime soon anyway, uh, which is going to be all of that. Uh, we'll get rid of the glass jars. This will turn into, uh, well, actually how much junk turned out? We got, okay. We can keep a stack of a thousand, so that means we can make 35 more. And then that'll get us a full stack there. I think, too, what we'll do is we'll store this stuff in there. I know we're almost certainly going to come across more of that, but I just want to be unencumbered if, as much as possible. All right, and then uh, let's put this back down here. I'm going to put the medical kit down there in case we get into an emergency situation. All right, let's make sure all of our weapons are loaded. They should be, but you never know in this game. And, uh, nope, seven. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Whoa, landmines. 
All right, let's just kind of go this way. To try and get back on the road. There we go. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're not um, we're not we're not gonna be doing a whole hell of a lot of loot looting. That's not the the point right now. The point is to explore and try and find our um, our green biome. That's what that's what we're really about here. So somewhere in here, well, I guess it would be over those cliffs. All right, so let's go through here. We got to, uh, we're going more northwestish than west, but there's there's more stuff out here for sure. We're not quite quite to the end of the map. Um. So I guess the question is that I'm kind of need to ask myself is do I want to follow the road because now we're going north and I really kind of wanted to go keep going west. I mean we will definitely follow the road eventually, but let's uh let's go ahead and head over this direction for a minute or an hour or a day. <laughs> Just kind of see what's going on over this way. Yikes, landmine. Maybe. <laughs> Trying to get a headshot off, headshot off on that guy. That was funny. All right. We got somebody else's attention, but let's keep moving here. So there's no kind of there's no like roads around these POIs. Hope cabin? Hope cabin? Better not pass up a bird's nest. I'm not going to go way out of my way to get them, but if they're in our path, we will. Okay, so this is this is west. There's a dog right there. I guess we're going to go across country again. <laughs> Jeez. It would be nice to have a road that just, you know, east, west, north, south, but I know it doesn't quite work that way. The roads on this map should be on the default settings, though. I don't think we changed any of that. As far as I remember. Alright. Well, let's just keep our eyes peeled for landmines and keep heading west. See how far we can get. Man, that's pathetic, fun pimps. What was that, like the fifth bird's nest I looted and no eggs in five bird's nests? Uh, we don't actually need any of that stuff. Biker and a dog. Let's avoid both of those guys. Oh, another dog. See you, Fido. Cowboy ball. Okay, here's a road. Can't believe we didn't get Cowboy Bob's attention. But here again, it keeps wanting to go to the north. Well, I guess it does kind of curve around to the west there a little bit, doesn't it? All right. Uh, we got a zombie bear there. Let's, uh, let's skirt by him. And now we're kind of going southwest. 
Got a junkyard there. Looks like the road curve will curve, <coughs> excuse me, around to the west here. Hey, you bastard. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, oh, that's that stupid bike bug. That thing, man. All right. Everybody, just leave me alone. I'm trying to explore. You son of us. Okay. Um,. Now, where are we at? Yeah, see, we're really close to the edge of the map. This is, map is supposed to have a water border to it as well. Um, all right, let's get reloaded here. Everybody else is good? All right, that's our final bandage. We've got pills, but let's get rid of that, too. Oh, and this. Alright, well, that's the end of the road. End of the road. Did I? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw a bird's nest over here. There's an egg. Finally. A water? Lock picks. Uh, leaving that. Let's keep the feathers with us. We can keep the cooking pot in there. Alright, um... Okay, well, let's continue going across country. I want to get, like, as far to the west as we can go. Until we can't go any further. That way we can say we've been west. <laughs> All the way west. There's an egg. We've got a Fido here. It was easy, it's just to blast him. Alright, now I see the, the border there. So, we have made it to the border. Did I hear a snake? Or is it just easy? Thought I heard a snake. Must have been easy.
tagged us. I, got, I did get a little close there, didn't I? Uh, all right. Um, yeah, we don't need to eat quite yet. So let's get over here. Um, we'll take the bike because I have a little bit of a height advantage when I'm on the bike. All right, so I am not seeing anything that looks like a green biome as far as my eyes can see. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back maybe to this road here and follow it up and see if we can find another main highway. If we can't, we might have to uh, go back to this highway. But let, maybe let's cut. Can we cut across that way? I think so, yeah. So maybe what we'll do is we'll cut kind of up and across this way. All right, let's do this. Either one of those things. There's a snake. trying to <laughs> okay well that works I was trying to get my uh, my axe on my toolbar I mean I did get it on my toolbar I was trying to trying to activate it and the snake got too close so I backed up and accidentally pulled the trigger but hey it worked all right Okay, let's go ahead and eat a sham. We have the ability to make two more bacon and eggs if we need to. We'll stop for uh, lootable cars as long as they're not way out of our way. Dang it. Um, yeah, I guess we, I guess we are keeping brass. I'm going to scrap these though, just for inventory consolidation purposes, since we're on a road trip here. Normally I wouldn't do that, but it's better than just not taking them at all. All right, that's good. Uh, definitely take those. We might end up just using those right now though. So what needs to really be repaired badly? These are all kind of low. This is kind of low. This is kind of low. Let's repair this. Oh, we have to wait for the brass to finish. Okay. Brass takes a long time to scrap. All right, we got... Oh, duh. I didn't even see him coming. He just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, nice. Nice miss there, old guy. I jerked my hand right when I pulled the trigger. Okay. Where'd my bike go? It's right here. There's another snake. Uh, 
All right, where's... I'm going to use the axe instead of the sledgehammer because uh, it's faster. There we go. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that you can throw rocks at landmines to detonate them. <laughs> That's a bouncy landmine. So I, I hit it with two rocks. Okay, so I guess that's uh, not a landmine then. How much scrap do we get out of those things? Oh, we get the landmine itself. Oh. Okay. Well, not interested in that right at the moment, but that could come in handy at some point. Alright, so we're still waiting for that brass to finish. Okay, heading north. Another buzzard coming in. Come at me, bro. Is he not going to come at me? When they get, like, right up in your face, then they kind of go up and down, so it's, it's it can be kind of hard to get a, get a beat on them. So we're down to 103 there. Yeah, let's go ahead and Well, no, let's go a little bit a little bit longer before we take a pill. Okay, scrap are we hanging on to oil? I can't remember if we are or not. We probably should be if we're not. Because we have no... We have no means of... Of uh, oil shale. Other than what we loot, which isn't even going to be close to enough. Let's just leave easy. We can run over him, though. <laughs> Ah, now nah, let's kill him. Easy XP, right? Oh, okay, we got a snake and an easy. Okay, let's kill the snake first because he's going to be faster than easy is. Uh, where's my knife? I always have a hard time finding the knife in my inventory. I don't know why. We were going to repair this, and I guess let's repair our pistol. I mean, the hammer needs to be repaired, but the durability on hammers lasts uh, quite a bit longer than it does on, on guns. So, All right, so we are at a river. Interesting. And it does look like there's a road up ahead. What? Okay. There's a zombo in the water here. We got another buzzard. Man, those buzzards make 
that's traveling a real nuisance. They really do. Major nuisance. Is he going to come all the way over here? Sure looks like it. Oh, no. Is he derping out? I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, you could tell I have like no skills in rifles. That did not kill him. Didn't it kill? Wait, did it? No, it didn't. It's gonna say I didn't see the. I didn't see the XP thing come up. Okay. Now he did. Now he did. All right. Um. Yeah, let's follow this road for a bit. See where it goes. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's staying in the north northwest, which is good because I'd like to kind of explore the northwest part of the map. Well, oh, more dinner. More dinner for us. We got an egger over there, too. Really? Okay, we got him. That was pathetic. We keep picking up those damn rocks and sand when we miss the snake. Tell you what, if nothing else, though, man, we are going to come back with a load of meat from this trip. <laughs> Can't complain about that. I already got 50 right there. Let's uh, let's keep the feathers until we get a full stack, and then we'll transfer them over. Okay, um, since we keep running into snakes, let's keep the axe down there. And we definitely need to heal now, so let's... um. Make a bandage. Take a painkiller. Oh, you know what? I was going to hang on to my jars so we could make more water later if we needed to. So I'll start doing that right now. Oh, another snake. Where is he? Right there. There we go. So we get 10 meat off of a snake with a knife. How much do we get with the axe? Six. Okay. Well, now we know. Always use the knife on the snake. It seems to me like it used to be in older versions of this game. Actually, I think it was Alpha 17 that all bladed weapons seem to give you the same amount. But maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken about that. There's some water right there that we can cook up at some point. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I, I remember in Alpha 17, I, I just used my axe to harvest animals. But, uh, seems to me like in 18, that's no longer the case. That you, The knife definitely does harvest more. Is a lootable car. Oh, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a nice find. Um, use? Uh, are we keeping sewing kits? Can't remember. Guess we'll hang on to it for the moment. Right, let's check this car. 
That's why we check cars. That was a really nice find. Uh, scrap a doodle this. Take a doodle that. Leave the lead. We don't care about the lead right now. Lead is super easy to come by. Okay, we got a little collection of POIs up here again. And we're going to have a buzzard swoop down on us in a second. I just want to reiterate again in case you guys are wondering, I'm not harvesting the birds because we have a long road trip ahead of us and I have very limited space, so... Uh, I'm just not going to do it. No, I'm in the room for it. I was going to do something. That's a military base and like a little cabin. Okay. There's a lead deposit. Oh. Those are actually kind of rare. Yeah, this is a uh, this is kind of slow going, man. <laughs> you can't just have go for a leisurely joyride in the in the wasteland biome, especially on a mini bike. If we were on a motorcycle, we'd go, be able to go faster and we could outrun a lot of the uh, buzzards. But what are we wearing? We're wearing a t-shirt. This gives more cold resist, but we don't have a snow biome on this map anywhere. So it does, so we're scrapping that. And another buzzard! We need a drink. Yep, yeah, I was keeping those, okay. Um, okay. Is that an easy? An easy in a car. Yeah, what the hell, let's loot it. I see a buzzard coming after us too. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. This is like a little seaside town over here. Uh, we will take that. We will take that. We will scrap that. Uh, I guess we'll put that in like that. You're not an easy. You're Joe the zombie. Zombie Joe. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a buzzard, like, s just static in the sky. I wonder if we can snipe him. Oh man, that feels good. That feels good. Revenge on those son of a bitches. It's amazing! Why can't that happen more often? Okay. Uh, we're keeping this down here, right? For snakes. Okay. Everybody loaded?
I should probably start using my 9 mil a little bit because I've got extra ammo for that. So let's start doing the 9 mil on the buzzards and the slower zombies and whatever. So I'm guessing this was uh, at one time a beautiful seaside town. But no longer. Where are you? Oh! Oh shit! Where are you? Okay. A little bit harder to do with the 9 mil than it is with the shoddy. What I need to do is shoot them before they get right in my face though, because that's when it actually gets harder to hit them is when, when they're right in your face. Okay. Oh shit, what am I doing? There's landmines around here. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, doesn't this place have landmines? Yes, it does. Alright, there's a zombie bear. Okay, so we've gone a fair ways north up the coast. So let's get back over... go kind of northeast-ish. Oh, we could get a shotgun messiah crate off that overpass. Okay. There's, oh shit! <laughs> I heard the click. <laughs> Fortunately, we got off the top of it before it completely blew up on us. So we took minimal damage, but it's still scary as hell when that happens. Oh, it was bound to happen sooner or later too, because you just, I mean, we are in the wasteland after all, right? Okay, let's go... around here we'll hit this car first oh yep I will take that yes siree okay, let's do a an unload you know what let's keep the extra ammo in there until we need it how's that sound uh, Oh, the egg, yeah. Okay, we're up to six eggs. Nice. Three baked in eggs right there. Okay, so the last time we attempted to do this, we were able to loot it without waking up the, uh, the sleeper. So let's see if we can do that again. We're going to have to make some water here pretty soon. We're going to need uh, this to open that crate. Get to it now. One more. Shh. Wow. That's some pretty nice stuff. Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, here, let's grab it and get down from here. So I want to, um, I want to look at something. So this machete does 29 block damage. That only does six. But I don't think block damage counts. Well, no, it probably does count for harvesting a corpse. But the thing I've noticed about machetes is they harvest snakes so fast that it's almost like you don't get enough meat out of them. Because you get ten meat with a hunting knife. 
So let's the next snake we kill. Let's let's harvest it with the machete and let's see if we get ten meat out of it. Uh, crossbow parts and rocket launcher parts and some more ammo. Oh, the pistol. Yeah, let's check the pistol out. Just because it's yellow doesn't mean it's better. So here's our pistol. Okay, so see the yellow one is actually worse in terms of magazine size and rounds per minute, and it doesn't do any more damage. It's more durable and has three more range, which is not really a big deal. So we're going to stick with our brown pistol. It does have two slots, though, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it. Uh, I'm going to keep it for now because when we get back to the base, we might be able to... Oh, good, those stacked. We might be able to, um, you know, put two mods in it, which will then effectively make it better. So we won't scrap it. We'll just keep it. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time. So uh, let's pause the menu. I think what I'm going to do is... What, what I don't want to do is I don't want to release, you know, several back-to-back -back videos of, of me, you know, riding around exploring. I know it, it is it is kind of fun to see that, but after a while, I think that's going to get a little bit... Uh, monotonous to you guys so what i might do in the next episode is maybe we'll do a um a music montage and i'll just uh you know we'll do some time lapse and maybe we'll we'll do the next uh, episode that way um so yeah let's try that and we'll see how it goes and then we'll go from there okay and it might even be you know after a while Especially if it takes me a really long time to find the green biome, I might even just do some of that exploring off camera because it's really just going to be me doing the same thing. Driving around, shooting buzzards, looting cars and birds' nests, and looking for the damn green biome. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.